Hi everyone, it's Tiffany here to do my recap. I had Apple on my main watch list this morning. Um, it had gapped up on earnings and it had popped through this daily level right here that it has been consolidating underneath for the past week. And, but it um, broke out of that level and it the high of pre-market happened to be another daily level from back here um, in February. So I was watching it and trying to decide whether it was going to continue to be strong with the breakout or if it was going to um, reject that level from back in February. So I was kind of watching it pre-market. It did. It was hanging out underneath the VWAP and then it sold off really hard at the open and sold off below the VWAP. I was watching it um, as it was a really nice one minute um, opening range breakdown, but that is not in my trade book. So I chose not to um, touch it at that point. So I had a little bit of FOMO. It was a really nice five minute opening range breakdown, which I could have taken it as that, but for some reason I still sat on my hands for, from it. So after the first 15 minute candle closed, I, had a little bit of hesitation to take it short because of this um, wick to the bottom side on the 15 minute candle and the fact that it came down and touched this daily level. I thought that it could find support there and then um, uh, decide to gain strength. So I hesitated, uh, but it came back up and tested these daily levels on um, relatively low volume and it was doing a nice rejection from those levels. So I went short and I immediately um, hit my break even key. Um, I should have given it room for sure, especially since it never even came up through the nine moving average on the one minute chart, which was ultimately where I was going to stop out if it broke through that nine moving average. My hard stop was above this daily level right here. And I, I, because I wasn't comfortable and because it wasn't an A1 setup because of this 15 minute wait to the bottom side and it testing this daily level here, I hesitated and I was, I, I didn't want to give it any room. So I stopped out twice. I tried it two times and I stopped out. And on my third time, it actually went in my direction and did exactly as planned. Um, I went short and then I took a 25% partial at this daily level where it found support earlier that morning, the first 15 minutes. And then I uh, got nervous that it might turn around from that. So I took another 25% partial and then continued on the way down. Then I saw that it looked like a double bottom here on the five minute chart and it made a, it had this, um, two hammer dojis in a row. And when it made a new high, I decided to, um, uh, exit uh, most of my position. I'm sorry. This was after the, the hammer doji on the five minute, I exited most of my position and then it came back and stopped me out at break even. If I were to keep my original entry, I would have been able to hold through the pullback uh, to VWAP um, later in the day and I could have gotten this really nice move down. So because I doubted my uh, strategy getting into the trade, it caused me to leave a ton of money on the table and that kind of stunk. <laughs> And then my last trade was on Tesla. I tried to take it as a reversal. I saw this 15 minute hammer doji happen with a new high. It looked like a head and shoulders, uh, uh, inverse head and shoulders setting up right here on the one minute. Here you have the head, um, the right shoulder, and then the left shoulder. It that had the nine and the 20 crossing over and curling up with the 50 coming down to meet it and it was making new five minute highs. So 
I decided to take a, um, a long position with a stop loss below this right shoulder. I took a quick 25% partial just out of comfort. And, but my plan was if it came back down and, um, pushed back up through these moving averages on the one minute when it started making new highs, I was planning on, on adding to my position. However, the market was selling off hard. So I went ahead and did, I didn't add and I went ahead and kept my stop at break even. It came down, stopped me out at break even, and then it headed down, um, quite a bit. Um, so those were my trades today. Um, I did doubt myself in the morning and it affected, um, my trades. I, I let, like I said, I left a lot of money on the table. Um, but I hope you all had a great trading day. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.